Hey guys, it's me Taz and welcome back to Latte Library. All right, I don't even know where to start except the fact that I'm like super excited. This is a Spark and Sparrow mystery box. This is a new concept, a new product, and they have three different sizes. This is the ultimate size. Because I had to get the ultimate because like, quick story, right? I'm like one of those people who I'll go shopping and I'm like, dude, like I'll put things like in a basket and stuff. And then I will leave with nothing because I'm just so indecisive. This mystery box solves my problems. So I'm like, sweet. There have been many times where I'm like, yes, I want to buy things from Spark and Sparrow, but then I chicken out. And so I'm like, all right, I'm going to get the ultimate box and we'll see how this goes. This does retail at $100 before shipping, but totally worth it. Like totally worth it. And I am loving this label. Like the color of it is my favorite. So I'm just like really excited for it. I was so excited that I actually opened it while I was at work because I went to the post office during work to get it because that's just how excited I was. I am. All the bubble wrap, I tell ya. <laughs> My bin at work was like full of bubble wrap. Like this box has been packed so well. Nothing's broken. Everything's just pristine and beautiful and it's great. First, we got this letter, this little note from Maddie. It says, Thank you so, so much for all your love and support, Taz. You are an absolute gem, thanks. I tried to include scents I thought you'd like, even if I wasn't sure you know the fandom. Enjoy, I'm ready to enjoy. All right, the first candle, which I'm so super excited about is this big bad boy right here. Confession, I didn't know they come in this big of a size. I thought they came in like smaller ones. This is huge, this is a really big jar, and it's Amatensha, smells of watermelon, raspberry, and rose. Yes, I'm talking really fast, but I'm that excited. It's just that good, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like this th this jar will be so photogenic, which is cool, but I'm sure it smells really good too. Spoiler, it does. It, I can definitely, you can definitely smell the hints of rose. The rose is a bit stronger than watermelon, but I feel like if you burn this in an open space, like my office, it's going to smell divine and strong and amazing. And it's got some glitter on it too, so that's really cool too. The next big candle we have is S for Slytherin, which is my house. <laughs> it smells of sage, citrus, and sea salt. I love these scents so much, especially sea salt. There's just something about it. And it smells really, really good. It just reminds me of like a rainforest in the morning after a night of rain. It, like, it just smells fresh and light, but rainforesty. I don't know. It's just a feeling, okay? But it too has silver glitter and is green wax because Slytherin. I love it so much. And honestly, just the fact that Maddie knows I'm a Slytherin just, just means the world, you know? It's just nice when people remember things about you. The next big bad boy we have is Jace Herondale. Confession, I have never read a Shadowhunter book ever in my life. I watched the movie. I thought the actors were good. I liked it a lot. Watch the TV show, thought it was absolute rubbish and I just haven't got to read in the books because I'm scared that it's just going to be a repeat of the TV show, which I know normally it isn't, but you just never know. Anyway, I'm loving the black and the grey in this candle, like just by looking at it, but this smells like orange, zest, neroli, cedar and musk. Anything with cedar and musk, I reckon I'll always love. Yeah, this is a masculine scent with like, I want to say like it has the same sort of feeling as cinnamon. It's like warm but spicy. It's really good. I'll probably be too scared to burn it. It's just that good. Next, we have two wax melts. The first one, which I'm like super like stoked about, is High Lady of the Night Court, which is me. Jokes, sort of. And it smells of pink apple, pomegranate, and vanilla bean. I love this color purple so much, and the label is so pretty. And then we have God of the Underworld, which smells of nectarine and mint, which I think would smell so nice and fresh. And again, I love the colors. Like the color of the glitter is like actually like my all time favorite color ever. Tin. The next we have is May the Odds Be Ever In Your Favor, AKA Hunger Games, which I have actually never read, but I've watched the movies and I was quite satisfied with the movies. But I just felt like I didn't need to read the books. And this smells like raspberry, toasted, coconut, and vanilla. Oh, it smells like um like a bakery full of like sweets. It smells so good. The toasted coconut just like really, really adds to it, I think. And this is an orange candle with orange and blue glitter. 
Next we have Alec Lightwood, which I believe is a part of Cassie Clare's world. And this smells like French vanilla and bourbon, which is honestly, what a great mix. Such a great mix. It is like a sweeter masculine scent, but I'm, I'm here for it. I'm totally here for it. And it's white wax with silver glitter, which is so pretty. Yeah, totally here for it. Next we have a pouch, which is actually from Trim and Thread, which is super cool. I have been eyeing these for a while now. So the Trim and Thread business card. But I just feel like you could just put so much stuff in here just to carry around in your purse or your bag. I currently use a, a bag and everything, like my lip balm and everything, is just scattered on the floor. It just takes me ages to find things. And I feel like this would just make my life so much easier and so much more organized. So I'm totally here for it. And I'm so lucky and just like grateful because yeah, pretty great. And the pattern is super cute. It's like mermaids. Speaking of mermaids, this is a woodmark bookmark that says, be a mermaid in a sea of fish. Okay, where's my tail? All right, perfumes, okay? We've got two perfumes to try out. The first one is flat like a girl and smells of pomegranate and geranium. It just looks so clean. Oh, that is nice. It's a very, it's a very sweet scent, but it's like a mature sweet scent, if that makes sense. It's really nice. And I love the label so much. And the next we have is fresh coffee and vanilla. Smells so good. I'll just like, it'd be like putting this all over me. So good. I love this. I just love the smell of coffee and vanilla and together. It just, it just kind of works, you know? Okay. Lip balms. Oh, so this one is Night Triumphant, which is blueberry lip balm. Oh, it smells so good. And it smells like just like the, um, the candles that have blueberry in it. Wow. Oh, that smells so good, like so good. You could almost eat it. Like I guarantee if you gave this to like a two-year-old, they'd like shove it in their mouth. Oh, and this next one is Valaris. Wow, I wonder why Maddie chose this for me. And this smells like strawberry. Oh, this is so good. So good. Oh, I mean, it just, it smells like strawberry and it's just, it's lovely. And I love this label so much. Next, we have two bookmarks. One that says, I will bow to no one and nothing but my crown. And the other that says, I am here, I am with you. That scene, those words. I'm like, it's not really a scene. There's like, that's like throughout a couple of chapters, but freak, man. Also, if you don't know, this is um, inspired by A Court of Mist and Fury. And this is inspired by Kingdom of Ash. You should definitely pick up Sarah J Mass's books if you haven't already. So next. Oh, these are so nice. These are like self-love cards. That's so nice. So for example, this first one says, don't compare yourself to others. There's no comparison between the sun and moon. They shine when it's their time. Wow, these are so pretty. I can't wait to take photos of these. And last but not least, we have another little print. It says, to really be a nerd, she decided you had to prefer fictional worlds to the real one, which I do. And this is a quote by Rainbow Rowell in Fan Girl. And that is it, my friends. So these boxes, these mystery boxes come in three sizes, small, large, and ultimate. The small starts off at $30, not including postage. So it just, it caters to every budget and every need. I'm stoked, hey, like I don't have any of these candles or anything. And I just think it's an awesome idea for people who just cannot commit to making those like purchases for some reason, whatever, because their brain's like, no, don't do it, maybe tomorrow. Thanks, Maddie, for creating like awesome products and for putting together such an awesome box. I cannot wait to grab my next one because I will definitely be getting more mystery boxes from here on out. Anyway, thanks again to Maddie and thanks to you for watching and I will see you in my next video. See ya!